Hello. So, um, today's gonna be low volume chest. I'm gonna try. So today's goal is just to add um, more or introduce my upper chest to more weight. Um, because I do want to build my upper chest more. I feel like it, it's really neglected um, because I never like do anything for it. So I really want to, I think my goal right now is to hit like 135 for like, you know, reps. Um, Cause I don't want like my regular bench to be like 170, what, 175, right? 175 and then my incline be like 100 pounds, you know? I want them to be like almost similar. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to do incline bench first, and then I'll start doing like regular incline or regular flat bench. And I'll do some like flies, and then I'll work on my triceps too. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna try to you know make it a little interesting today, cause you know, uh, you know, a good bench press you know is nice, but you know I want to work on my incline too. Um, also because I feel like it works out my, like, um, whatever, my insertion, my insertions, like, I feel it more in my insertions, because I guess, like, it, it, it uses, like, more shoulder, because it's inclined, um, so, yeah, I also wanted to thank you guys for watching the video still, um, I took a little break, uh, you know, I was mentioning a little bit, you know, I was just taking a step back, you know, um, really analyzing what I'm doing right now and um, analyzing how I can grow and um, kind of reflecting, you know. Um, you know, I know this is something that I want to do, like weightlifting, of course. So it wasn't really like questioning my morals. It was just questioning like what I'm actually doing to um, have like a reasonable amount of growth. Um, so yeah, like I was just, you know, thinking plotting, you know, uh, taking a step back, you know, literally like what I said, the, like the first sentence, just taking a step back. Um, but I did realize, so recently, it's funny because the first, I want to say it was my part three, part three, my high volume chest. I think it's, I think it's part three, uh, high volume chest. I had like 500 views the first two hours and I was like, dude, that's so cool. Like, I can't believe that like YouTube's already pushing on my videos. Like, you know, that's so cool. And then it like dropped because it was like 500 views, 50 likes. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so good for like the first like five hours. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so good. Like, let's go. And then I checked the next day and it was like 120 view, 110 views. 50 likes, which is still amazing. Like 50% of the people liked the video. So that was pretty cool. Um, and, but I was like, dude, what happened to all my views? Like, what the heck? So what I, what I'm thinking is happening. Cause it, it, this has been happening for a couple of my videos. Um, I think people are just like reloading the page over and over again, hoping that they'll give me like an extra view or two that doesn't work. So YouTube is a lot smarter than you, <laughs> than you think. Um, not only does it actually, like, I can actually see how many unique viewers watch my videos. So, um, and YouTube knows this, like they have, um, you know, watch time, they have retention. So like the average, um, duration of like the views and then they have unique viewers, which is like how many different, like actual people are watching, not just reloading the page. And then they have um, subscribers and not subscribers. And then they have new viewers versus reoccurring viewers. It's like they have all this stuff. So there's no way you reloading the page trying to get me more subs I mean, more um, views will work because it's like they know everything. Like they're tracking literally everything. So, um, so yeah, please don't do that because even if the views did work, um, which they won't, they'll just, YouTube will just take them back. They'll be like, Hey, that's not like, that's not literal, um, or real. They'll, um, if, so it, let's say the views did count, right? 
So my retention rate right now is about like four and a half minutes, um, which is pretty good because, you know, I only make like 12, eight minute long videos before. I'm gonna just try to make longer videos now. But um, yeah, my average video was like 10 minutes. So like half half of the time you guys are watching. So that's really good um, on average, of course. Um, Cause I know some of you guys do watch the whole thing, which is really cool. But um, but yeah, like I was just um, I was just um, what was I talking about? Oh, so even if the views did count towards like the view count, my retention would absolutely tank because when you're you know spam clicking the reload page, that's like what like point one second. So let's say those five hundred views did count, and let's say like my retention rate was what like five minutes. Um it would go down to like five seconds <laughs> because you know, it's just, that's just how it is. So, um, please don't do that. I mean, if you want to rewatch my videos, you can, but don't just like spam click the reload page. Cause it won't work. It will just give me, it'll give me false hope. And it'll also give me a bad look on YouTube because they'll be like, Ooh, this guy, this guy is probably the one that's, you know, um reloading his page a whole bunch of times so he gets a lot of views um but i'm actually really ha happy with my videos right now um i have a lot of watch hours which is amazing um of course i don't have like the most amount of views but um i'm happy that i have more retention than i did when i did um gaming videos which is really cool to see um but yeah today's gonna be enough yapping uh today's gonna be low volume chest i'm just gonna try to introduce more weight to my chest this still kind of hurts like when i touch it um uh, my left insertion so uh i might have to take it a little easy um i might have to do like a tricep break in the middle of my workouts because like you know i, I don't know how it's gonna act you know it could feel nice and then you know the next set it's gonna feel like absolute crap so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video um yeah i hope i hope i hope you enjoy um thank you for watching all right so i'm gonna start with some incline bench um usually this doesn't make sense oh my gosh you can't see me Ugh. usually this doesn't make sense you know you want to start with your regular bench first but because i want to work on incline it makes sense that i started ugh, i start on it first um because i'm not gonna be fatigued you know um yeah, I'm not going to be fatigued, basically. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to start with this. I'm probably going to do some triceps or maybe brachialis after. Um, just so I'm not putting so much stress on my chest. So I can do multiple workouts and not just like incline bench only. Um, I do want to try to hit regular bench and then do some dumbbell flies at, um, after that. Um, but we'll see how I feel. Um, you know, I always say I feel good before incline, and then I feel like absolute crap after. So, you know, I don't know what to think, basically. But yeah, I'm gonna do some incline. Um, I remember to change how, you know, I remember to change how um up the arms are so that hopefully there's no injuries today, you know, or hopefully I just don't look like a dummy, basically. put it up a little more just because I feel like I need to still go down a little bit and I also need to I need to um find the middle of the bench because I feel like there's too much bar on the right side than the left um but yeah I'll show you guys my last set and then uh we'll see what we do after that okay so I'm stupid right because I'm like all right incline bench kind of hard I'm not gonna lie like I only I was hitting um 125 and I was like damn this shit's really heavy there's no way I could do more weight and then I was like hold on how, how inclined should the bench be 
I looked it up. It says 15 to 30 degrees. So that's like, like, like this. My ass has it at like, it's literally like upright. Like it's not like 90. So this is like 90 degrees. It's like right here. It's like, I want to say like 60 degrees. So I've been hitting shoulders instead of, um, instead of upper chest. So I need to, I'm going to fix it right now because I've been hitting shoulders. Uh, might just retitle this video shoulders instead of chest. Um, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rearrange it to like 15 degrees. I feel like that's not enough. I feel like, uh, whatever. I'm going to arrange it to 15, 30 degrees. And then we'll see how it goes there. I have to redo everything. So I hope you enjoyed that one rep of um, shoulders that I did. Because that wasn't actually chest. That was more um, delts than shoulders. Because I'm like, there's no way. Like, I haven't, oof, I haven't been building my incline bench like that's so weird and it's because i'm not doing incline bench i'm basically just doing seated um over the head press with for my shoulders so um this is definitely a learning experience learning experience for me um but yeah i'm gonna readjust because i do feel it in my upper chest but it's not like crazy i'm like why am i failing i don't feel it in my chest that much you know um, but it's because I wasn't even working on my chest, um, like that well. I was still technically working on my chest, but it's not like, you know, the best angle. So I'm going to switch it back to what it's supposed to be, which is 15 to 30 degrees, supposedly. Um, so yeah. Okay, so this is supposedly the amount of incline that's supposed to be here. Um, I feel like this is not enough though. This is basically just flat bench, you know? I feel like this isn't an adequate amount of incline, but this is supposedly what's supposed to be good, so, um, yeah. Okay, well, I need to adjust that. <sighs> yeah, so supposedly that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I think that's just flat bench though. But whatever. We'll still hit flat bench after. Um, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to hit some uh, incline 135 right now. I hit 125 for like 6. Um, I had 160, I had 165, I wish, um, 125, what, well, yeah, 125 for six, so hopefully we can hit 135 for like one or two or three, um, so yeah, and then we'll move on to some, uh, bicep work, or tricep work, no, 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 bicep, 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 bicep. Oh my god! Yeah, so I ended up hitting that for, um, you know, 135 for 10 on the incline. I didn't bail. Um, I don't know why, but the video just cut out for some reason. Um, but yeah, I re-racked the weight perfectly. Um, yeah, so I actually got 10. Um, 10 reps. So yeah, we're gonna do some bicep workouts now. Um, because that was so easy. Fuck. So I'm at some biceps with the easy bar curl, you know? Um, and honestly, that was not a good idea to try to go for 135. Um, I should have known that like me pre-exhausting my muscles, um, cause I wasn't doing the right movement cause I didn't have it at the right angle, was a bad, you know, a bad start. So I don't know why I try to push myself there. Um, but I guess it's good that I failed, you know? It's good that I, um, have to swallow my pride a little bit, you know, cause there's a very fine line between quitting and, you know, pushing or quitting and pushing yourself, you know, and you want to find that middle, you know, to where if you're pushing yourself enough to where you don't get hurt, 
But, you know, you're pushing yourself to your absolute limit. And that was my absolute limit. <laughs> there was no way I could have got that up. Um, so, yeah. It's a good learning experience. You know, because I, I keep disrespecting 135. I'm like, ah, 135, that's easy sauce. Like, who can't do 135? So, uh, definitely a learning experience for me. Uh, definitely um showing that i still need to be humble no matter uh how how big i feel and uh yeah i'm just you know respecting the weight you know respecting the weights You know, um, I'm gonna hit some, you know, biceps right now. I'll show you my last set. I'm not gonna try to go super heavy, but um, you know, heavy enough. So um, we're gonna do. We're doing biceps. Um, I'm not going super heavy because you know, I'm not trying to hurt myself. Um, yeah, that that like failed rep kind of like messed me up. Um, I think. We're gonna go back to regular bench after this, but um, but but yeah, I think we're only gonna go to like one thirty-five on the regular bench, cause like I feel like absolute crap right now. Um, at least I don't. I mean, I do look like crap, but like whatever. Um. But yeah, I think we're only going to go to like 135 today. We'll probably just do it for like maybe reps. We might fail. I have no idea. Like, literally, I have no idea. Like, I think me, because I did, I was doing, I was literally doing, well, I mean, technically, I'm still working the upper, upper chest when I was doing those um very inclined bench. But, um, but it was more shoulders, you know? And I feel like I kind of pre-exhausted my shoulders and my chest. Which, um, you know, kind of is a bad way to start things if you want to, you know, get some good reps in. Um, and then the failing rep, you know, that kind of like, it hurts, you know, it hurts when you fail. Not only like my ego hurts, but like, you know, my body kind of hurts from that. Um, so that's like roll it off. Um, but yeah, we're going to do some more biceps. We're, we're, this is the last rep of biceps. Um, so after this, we're going to hit some chest and then we'll probably do flies after, and then we'll do some triceps at the end because, you know, the triceps are lacking. So the bench is lacking, you know, um, maybe not going too, too heavy on the, on the triceps, you know, just so they can have some room to breathe. Um... I think tomorrow might be either, I don't know, I think tomorrow might be a rest day. Or maybe high volume, and then, because, yeah, like, this is kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie. You know, kind of tired. Um, what was yesterday, back? Yesterday was back, right? Yeah, I think so. So I can get away with hitting, uh, I'll probably do arms then, because... Yeah, like, I, I don't know, how, I feel like my chest is going to hurt all tomorrow because of the fact that I finally did a actual upper chest and not, because, like, I mean, I mean, I've been doing, you know, um, that super inclined bench forever. Like, well, I mean, not forever. I've only done it, like, what, two times? But, like, I've been doing, like, I've been practicing for incline, like, super inclined, even though, like, in reality, I'm supposed to only be, like, this much inclined, you know? But like it doesn't it doesn't look like a big difference, but it actually is. Like I'm not gonna lie. I I feel it, you know? I don't know if you can see it. I mean I'm not like muscular enough to like, you know, you can see every muscle, but you know, I could feel it, you know. My hands are just moving circulation. Um but yeah, it felt really cool. 
Um, I'm probably, my body's probably gonna be super sore tomorrow, you know, but it's okay. Um, we're gonna get one more rep of biceps. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but it's cause I'm tired, you know. <sighs> tired. Okay, I'm just gonna stop repeating myself. I can't repeat myself if I don't talk. Hopefully we do good on bench. Ah, my callus. My callus is like, usually like it, it heals, but it hasn't healed from back day yesterday. So that's probably not a good sign. Um, Cause if they burst, I mean, it's like, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> it's gonna hurt to hold anything. Cause like right now, it, ah, whatever. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. My pecs are like hurting. So I might not do flies. I'm gonna do some nice controlled, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna do some very heavy weight right now. You know, the weight's gonna be astronomically heavy. I'm tired. I'm probably not gonna do flies because I don't want to tear a pec, which, Ooh, I've seen videos of people tearing the pecs. That's that's not something I want to feel. You know, that's, that's definitely not something on my bucket list right now. So I'll probably do triceps after and just forget the pecs because I basically already did three chest workouts. I'm not trying to overdo anything. Um, if anything, I'll do chest tomorrow if I'm not like super sore. Um, so yeah. Um, we're gonna do some normal reps, you know, kind of slow at the bottom, but then explode. Okay. All, right. All right, so like I was saying, regular reps, I'm not gonna be doing it slow and controlled just because I'm hurting, I'm hurting. So, you know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to fail. So, yeah. No, yeah, like, I should have, uh, I don't know. I feel like I messed up in the beginning. <sighs> so stupid. But now I know, now I know, you know? Incline is not super inclined. It's pretty inclined, but it's not super. So yeah, um, I'll meet you on my last rest. <sighs> Man. All right, so we're gonna do 135. I'm not gonna push myself because I just did 125 and that was a pain. And like, I was like bouncing it off my chest. Pause. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do 135. <sighs> Hopefully it gets up. If not, you know. <sighs> fine um what did i talk about yeah man i'm like i know i'm repeating myself but i'm so mad that i messed that up like i should have just continued doing the shoulder press and then you know just done regular or like because like i don't know it was like it's a it's a lot of volume in the chest you know so of course my chest is going to get super fatigued um because it's not used to being worked out you know um, like my upper chest, I mean, you know, so yeah. Oh. 
I mean, I don't, I mean, technically they're okay reps, but I don't like bouncing it off my chest, you know? I like keeping it at the bottom for a little bit so I can feel it, you know? But not today. I'm tired. Uh, we're going to do some triceps now. I'm only going to show you guys one set because it's just going to be the same way. I'm not going to go up and wait. Um, and then I'll end the video there. All right, so there's absolutely no way I'm going to do that or um, triceps right now. I can't even lift my arm like past like right here like ow um so yeah there's no way I'll be able to do the easy bar curls because I can't even raise my arms like this hurts so bad Ugh. like it mm, I don't even know like I didn't even do any I didn't even do anything so yeah no easy bar curl because because I can't even lift my arms, so how how am I supposed to hold it above my head if I can't even? So yeah, no skull crushers because I'm probably gonna crush my skull literally. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll see what we hit tomorrow. I'm, it's gonna be like whatever I'm feeling because if my chest is still good, we'll hit some uh, high volume. But yeah, bye bye.